welcome to the Jake Games Stream. Yo, what's happening, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> If you guys have missed out on any episodes, like always, you can go back, check out the playlist, get yourself caught up on the ones you have not yet seen. Let's go ahead and jump right on back into it, right where we left off, and let's see what we can get into. And while we're waiting, if you want to check out some merch, link should be in the description. We got the hats, we got the shirts, we got all that good stuff. I got me these sleeveless shirts now. Check them out. They're pretty dope. Um, Evening. I know there was like a person I needed to talk to who wanted to fix these ships up so these guys could blast off into space. It's kind of a crazy idea, but a bunch of ghouls want to blast Jason off into space. I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the great journey. Uh, he sounds like a ghoul. Why does he sound like a ghoul? That's weird. Um, how can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. Okay. It's no okay. longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Uh, all right, I'll um. Let me get back to you, or should I just say I'll uh, I'll track down the igniting agent? Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Enough that I can carry in my backpack. Uh. You give me any tips on my current task? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers. It's hard to know where the components might turn up, if they turn up. Oh, so they might Jason actually be has here. Jason some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Um, all right, I'll get going then. Bye. Yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be crazy. Can I just turn this on? What is this? Can I just start pushing buttons, buddy? Will that, will that work? I don't know, I guess there's a place where we can find this stuff, so we'll have to go try and locate that. We can report. We got all kinds of stuff to do, though, like side quests. We can go back to the guy in the dinosaur. We can uh, go find this radioactive stuff. These guys are crazy, man. They're going to freaking try and blast off. And I hope they find something out there, but kind of bonkers. Uh, so how do I... I can change my quest so I can go back to the dino guy. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, find atomic fuel. Yeah, we're gonna go back to Manny Vargas. I think I probably can just fast travel there. Yeah, let's go back to Novak. <clears throat> we're neutral now, but I think since I helped them, maybe we'll be a little bit more positive. Hopefully we're not gonna have any crashy poos today. I really think I ought to look into the mod that makes it uh, more stable. Why am I always, how am I never filling up my canteen, but yet it's always sippable? How is this possible? Do you have any luck with the ghouls? I sure I'm did. Um. Oh, wait, so I, I think I actually have to get them to blast off before I can come back to him. Um. Just head over to the Repcon test site west of here. See if you can get the ghouls out of there. Okay, so yeah, I do have to send them off into space. All right. <laughs> yeah, see ya. Like, I thought that that was enough going over there. I cleared out the feral ghouls, but he wants me to get rid of all the ghouls. So. Yeah, I mean, it's telling me I can come back to him, but it doesn't work. Let me try talking to him again. Maybe I missed a, a conversation point there. Do you have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Who's Boone? Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. How do you just leave I'd the NCR? You, That's not real, is it? Uh, we're not so friendly right now. Um. 
All right, yeah, I guess yeah, I'm gonna have to go find the radioactive stuff, bring it back, send these guys off into space, and then I come back to Manny. That's kind of crazy. Come fly with me. Uh, okay, so it's not not too far from here, so that's that's good. But how do we how do we go about getting there? I think we gotta go outside the town. The town's all fenced up. And we just gotta head this way. I know there's some like pretty bad areas out here. Always makes me kind of nervous, like what I'm gonna run into. I could do with a bit more ammo too. I should probably buy some ammo from somebody. Uh, like Larry Man said, upgrade guns and uh, do that kind of stuff. I think I upgraded my ammo. I did some kind of reloading or something on a workbench. I think I need more materials is what it is to be able to upgrade stuff. Which I'd have to figure out where do you even get that. This might... Oh, you know what? Oh, Isotope 239 Igniting Agent. Can I wear it? Does a radiation suit help? Should I get, grab that? Um, return to the rocket facility and give the fuel to Chris Haverson. Okay. So, yeah, I didn't even need the radiation. I thought I was going to need to go in and, like, find some uh, some crazy radiation stuff, but... Like you said, the area was pretty radioactive. Now, can I find my way back in the back door where you just go down the ladder? Kind of don't want to have to work my way through all that stuff again, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, it's right here. Sick, it actually just puts me right here. What would happen if you would have found this first? And just gone right down into here? Yo. Have you found the components we discussed? I sure did, buddy. Found an entire container of the container. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact, or you'd be dead by now. Oh, <laughs> that, thanks, now buddy. <laughs> all I need is the thrust control modules. Uh, can you give me tips for my Scavengers current task? Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules just by looking at them. If you know any junk dealers in the area, I'd start there. Okay, cool. So we can go talk to some people and I think probably buy it. That'd be kind of good. I almost forgot to share my link here on the Discord. Which, uh, join the Discord if you're not already there. Come by and chat and stuff like that. Um, Time for me to go. He gave me the tip Later. and we know what we're looking for. Let's go freaking get it. We're going to send these ghouls straight to space. Uh, do we have a place we can travel to? We'll probably go back to Novak. That seems like it's the closest place to these things for some reason. Careful. They got spies all over. Who are you, man? Who is this man? Who sent you? I ain't talking. They tried to get me to talk before, but I didn't say nothing. And I don't aim to now, by gum. Uh, I don't mean you any harm. We'll just see about that. You come any closer, and I'm liable to stick you with my sticking knife. Oh, he's got a sticking knife. Feeling mighty ornery this day. Um, we can talk from a distance. You sure now? It's kind of hard to hear you. I don't want to get close when you're talking about sticking me with a sticking knife. You said you'd stab me with that knife. Okay, okay, just speak up a little. This guy's kind of bonkers. So they hear you. They got people everywhere. Always listening. Um, what's been going on in town? There's been things of a disturbing nature going on at the McBride Corral. Seems every night one of their herd meets a most unnatural death. And always there's holes all over the body. Oh. Work of the chupacabra, the livestock vampire, says no bark. But they don't pay no mind. Too many holes, they say, and there's bullets in them. Oh, they're getting... Shot? Well, says no I was thinking maybe it was aliens. Chupacabra with an automatic weapon, and that's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. There's a chupacabra with an automatic. Dude, that sounds horrible. Um. All right, I'm gonna leave. If then. anyone asks, we never spoke. Dude, I don't want to deal with a chupacabra with a freaking machine gun. That sounds horrible. Who's this dude? Hey there. Oh, just a settler? Okay, cool. 
No big deal. We don't need to talk to every settler. Let's just move right along. Is it just going to be in this fenced in area or is it in this garage? Somebody just have this Gibson scrapyard. I don't like the look of that. Feel. Oh, okay, he's not he's not necessarily an enemy. He's just a dog. I think maybe we got to Oh, it's a uh, Basura. I think maybe we just got to buy the stuff from this guy. Maybe. You're friendly, right, Reina? Where's the feller? He got guard dogs. Sorry to wake you up, but I need to buy some stuff, and it's urgent. Hi there. I'm old lady Gibson, or so she they tell She has a lot me. of dogs. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. What does she mean, you or so they tell me? You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Hmm. Do you have any thrust modules from Repcon in stock? As it so happens, I Ooh, do, do I have, have that's some a lot thrust of caps. modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. Oh, I don't have enough barter. Uh, I don't have enough speech either. We could try it. Oh, you're charming. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. Way, I suppose. Not budging on the price for those parts though. Hmm, barter? Oh, I don't know about that. How much money do Lots I actually of have? Folks travel by on their way to New Vegas. So, like, if I just had the money, a pleasure doing business with you. Could I buy it, or do I have to have the speech? Show me what you have Happy for sale. Happy to do it. Like, could I just, if I had enough money, could I just buy it? Or is uh, she not, she not trading in the money? Items aid. I have 358, okay. Maybe I could sell some stuff. Some weapons. I don't think I'm gonna use two nine millimeter pistols. I'll sell this one. Don't know if I'm gonna use the machine gun, am I? Are binoculars like can you really use them? I don't know. I'm gonna sell that. Cleaver I have not used. Do I have multiple laser pistols? A straight razor, don't need that. Switchblade, don't need that. I don't know that I'm gonna use throwing spears, am I? Let's just sell those. I've had those from the right off the rip and I'm never gonna use them. So I get 238 caps coming my way. Maybe sell some armor. Like, uh, Pre-war hat, maybe? Radiation suit, maybe? Vault 21 jumpsuit. Leather armor. Yeah, let's just sell that. Okay, so we're gonna get a decent bit of caps here. Let's pull that and then let's see if we talk to Give you me a again. Shot if you need Still got them. Can I buy them for five hundred now? They're yours. Here you go. Pleasure doing business. Easiest way, because it's going to take forever to get my speech and stuff up. That's 20 freaking points that you, that I would need more in speech to be able to do this. Hopefully I actually get some something of value out of this, because I just spent 500 caps on getting these guys to launch to space. So <laughs> I better get something good out of this. Like maybe 500 caps back, that would be nice. I'm gonna tell him like, hey dude, you know that cost me 500. You're gonna have to pay up. I ain't just putting up $500 to spend send you guys into space. Have you found the components we discussed? Uh, I found the thruster control module. Indeed you did, and they seem to be in excellent condition. Rockets are set to go, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. Can I actually go with them? <laughs> we have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. 
the great journey can begin. Are those feral ones down there? Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. Those are feral ones the out there, I think. It's time come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends, one you, the other a long abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you, you know, I spent $500 on your journey, so. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. How are they going to get the feral ones in there? We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, more the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. Are to both the these rockets going to work? We go to the far beyond. Hey. Hey. See, was that a feral ghoul that just said that? He went, rah, 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 hey. Oh, they're grabbing the feral ghouls? Dude, they're just picking them up? Are they just about to pick up the feral ghouls? Do we get to see them launch? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Are we actually going to get to see it? Or do they just walk around? Hello. I want to see the launch. Did you hear him? My God, you were right all along. I'm no ghoul. They were just using me. I told you. They take you if you could, Chris, but you'd die. And dying would be worse than this? Used up and thrown away like garbage? Oh, so I've redeemed the human race, is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand me. Uh, not true, Chris. You're all right. So, you want me to accompany you on your adventures across the wasteland? Yeah, I could take this guy it? with me, right? Little town called Novak down the road. Life among humans again? That's what you're suggesting? Yeah, why not? I guess... I guess it's the only chance I've got. Maybe it'll be different this time. I was never a saint before. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this, but I'll give it a try. You go launch the rockets. I'm on my way to Novak. Oh, I do get to... Okay. I was waiting for something to happen, but how do I launch the rockets? Where do I go to launch? Must be... Well, I can take a space helmet. Where the frig is the launch? Give me the lunch. Yeah, that's the workbench I used to do some, like, ammo stuff. Okay, maybe we gotta go up this way? I'm not entirely sure. It does seem like this is the direction, right? Where's the control room? I was hoping I'd get to see it. You know, I really was looking to see these rockets blast off, but maybe that was too much to hope for. Maybe the game, you know, that's not within the confines of the game here, you know? Not a possibility.
So I guess they do actually like take the feral ghouls with them too. The ones I didn't kill at least. Okay. Where are you directing me to now? Right here maybe? I don't uh... Maybe uppies? Oh wait, do I have to go like up into here? I think these metal staircase and then up here somewhere. Okay, yeah, there we go. My bad, I accidentally did this. It was an accident. Uh, Ripcon test site? Is that where I actually have to go? Or is it somewhere over here? It would appear... Oh, we have a chemistry set? No, we can't do chemistry. Do have a workbench? Um... I think I might have to actually like go out that exit there. I don't need empty syringes, that's useless to me. Yeah, I guess this door. Oh. Are they in there? Launch button. All right. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, blast off. Yo. Oh. I'm locked in. So, <laughs> uh, lights. Enough of your good works has been passed around that people like you. They like me and Novak. Because I blasted ghouls off into space. Is there, like, more to this later? Do I, do I find their ships crashed somewhere? That'd be kind of crazy if that's the case. I think we're going to have a crash. Maybe. We got a lot long loading time. It feels like a crash is imminent. Yo, that was kind of bonkers, though. That one just kind of veered off. It didn't look too good for him. I need to... If anybody knows of any mods that help with this kind of stuff, let me know for sure, because it's, it's gone all bad. Hopefully, we got a good save, though. Hopefully, it's not, like, corrupted the save file. Okay, so we're back to here. Oh, we're right before we launched. Okay. Let's try launching again. Let's do a quick save. And let's launch. Hopefully it works this time. Dun, 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 dun. I really wish I could see where they go to. Like, I, I, I have a feeling they just crash. Especially how that one went. Yeah, I'm liked now in Novak. <laughs> Fame gained. And 990 XP. That's a level up. Uh, I think too many things happened at once, and that's what caused the problem. Let's up energy weapons. I was using an energy weapon a little bit. I like upping guns. Uh, Lockpick, maybe. What else? What else? Not doing really many unarmed. Uh, survival speech, I like. Uh, barter, I like. Let's up barter a little bit. Let's do another couple on guns. Oh, we still have more. I don't know why I have so much on melee weapons. Science, maybe we up a little bit. And medicine, maybe. 
Uh, did, I didn't do confirm bachelor. Uh, I could do combat. You do ten percent against male opponents outside of combat. You'll sometimes have access to unique dialogue when dealing with the same sex. Um, okay, intense training. Single point into any of your special abilities. Oh, we could do that one. Yeah, let's do that. And we get an extra. What do we want to do? Perception. Endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility. Let's up luck, maybe? Or intelligence. Hmm. Or endurance. Bonus health, environmental resistance. Yeah, let's up that one. That's the most useful. Oh, we, oh, we get uh, more points. 13, what the heck is happening right now? Barter, energy weapons, guns, lockpick, medicine, repair, science, sneak, speech, survival. Let's just go through and tick away some of these ones. Okay, are we good? Let's let everything calm down. Let's get a quick save. And then let's try this. I think it was just too much was going on and I just tried to leave instantly. And he was like, what are you doing? Now it works. Yeah, okay, okay. Now I think I can return back to Manny Vargas. They went that away. Can I fast travel from this location? I don't think I can. Alright, so we gotta get out of here. That's the... Where's the way down, like, the stairs? The way I came in. Is it here? Yeah, there we go. So that was crazy. I just <laughs> just launched some some ghouls out into space. Fun fun stuff, huh? Repcon basement is that is that a good way to go? I think so, because I can go back down to that exit that's down here, and I can look at the space uh, the launch pad. Kind of curious what uh what it looks like down here at the launch pad feel bad kill i didn't have to kill all those um nightkins i i just my thing got fudged up like it's i, I got ended up getting the leader antler attacking me for no good reason really fudged it all up this may be difficult finding my way back through here to where I want to go. This may not have been the best method. It's a little bit of a, a maze down here. Where the heck am I? Where the heck am I, actually? <laughs> Crash. Good God, man. I wonder if, uh... Being out on the launch pad there, where, like, my last quick saves are... Oh, no, it's it brought me back in here. Uh, find out from Mar Manny Var uh, Vargas where the cons were heading. Wait, who just say just trying to kill me? I walked through that door, it said somebody tried to kill me. <clears throat> the fudge was that about? I need 25. Dude, you need 25 to be able to open easy locks. That's kind of insane. Oh, I found the exit. Sick. Sick. 
I'll have to watch it back and see what it said, because I swear to God, I opened the door, and it's like, said somebody tried to kill me. What does that even mean? We're liked in Novak. I feel like we're, we're liked by the ghouls there that we just launched into space. Where the heck did you go, Manny? Are you not in the dino anymore? You in room... Oh, okay. He moved from the hey, dino there. to his room. Oh, Chris Haverson came here, too. Welcome to Novak. It's not very exciting here, but the people are friendly enough. My engineering skills have been coming in handy, too. I've got plenty to do. Nice. Thanks for telling me about this place. Absolutely. You have any luck with the ghouls? I'm counting on you. Ghouls are no longer at Repcon. Really? Unbelievable, man. I gave fame. I knew wasn't going to be easy. But I had a good feeling about you. You look like you've been through a lot. Um, now about the man I'm looking for. Okay. I'll tell you everything I know, like I promised. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. This guy was in a gang? Any idea why they went that way? No clue. I know Benny hadn't paid up yet. Maybe that was where they were supposed to get square. Um, where's Boulder it's City? Straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. That's all I need to Hope know. That helps. I owed you. Um, what was your tour with the NCR like? Oh, I thought I could great. get this guy to I come with me. It. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to like? Uh, so why'd you leave? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. Uh, what did happen at Bitter Springs? I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. This wasn't the same. So when it hmm. came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Uh, so why are you on bad terms with Boone? Me and his wife. We didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. What did you and Boone's wife argue about? And you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins. We were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang. I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted. Earned my future. Brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Ooh. So you were in a gang. Were they tough? Were they tough? I was in the con. Oh, you're in the con. Okay. Batter. Um. All right. Goodbye. Yeah. See ya. I thought I could take this guy with me. Idolized, renowned for your extensive support and goodwill, you are idolized by the community. Nice. They love me here. May I try talking What's to him again? What's going on, man? Yeah. Well, how do I get like a yeah, companion? See ya. I could have, you know. Oh. Don't, nobody look. Just had to take a little toilet sip. Sometimes you gotta just get a little sip out of the toilet. I thought I could get like followers and stuff. Welcome to Novak. It's my engineering. Can you come with me? No, he can't come with me. He's just a scrainus. Who are you? Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. Uh, you were a pilot? Vertebrate pilot. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard landing, but I walked away. Yeah, and you won that you walk away from. Uh, what do you do in Novak? I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage they bring in. Engines, mostly. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole thing put together. Hmm. Did you fly for the NCR? Or, no, not exactly. It was a long time ago. Things are a lot different these days, and those days are way behind me. Gotcha. All right, then. Watch your <clears throat> six out there. You too. You too, lady. 
Have fun. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess we can keep following the trail. Or we can uh, go in and do some of this other stuff. Spread the word of Legion atrocities. Yeah, I could do that. Dude, the Legion's frigged up. Where do we do that at? No. We gotta come all the way to here. Go to Nipton. And then from there we travel to here, whatever this is. Yeah, dude, the Legion's frigged up. So let's follow this and go tell people that they did horrible things here. I don't like that. Ooh, a lottery ticket. I need to switch weapons, I think. Because uh, I'm using a shotgun. A shotgun's not going to work at a distance here. So we can do... I like this 10 millimeter. I'm pretty good with a pistol, if you know what I mean. If you know what I'm saying. Where is all this shooting coming from? I'm not I'm not a fan of it. Thomas? Come on. Did you see that? That crazy bitch just attacked me. Watch your nowhere. language. Watch your profanity. Any idea why? No, none at all. We've been traveling together since I picked her up a few days ago. Maybe this guy will come with She's me. She's been friendly this whole time. Well, we'd actually been flirting a little when she suddenly pulled a gun out and began yelling at me to hand my Lost caps. her mind, huh? Now that I think of it, though, she laughed when I threw her my money. I think what she really wanted was my Lucky Charm necklace. Lucky Charm necklace? Yeah, every once in a while you can find a cap with a blue star on it. They're pretty rare, so I started collecting them. And once I had enough, I made a necklace out of them, since I thought they were lucky. Hmm. Uh, just be more careful in the future, okay? I will. I'm gonna be a good guy. Pick up a straggler on the road, believe Not gonna try and steal from him. I just, I just want a companion. I feel lonely out here on the, uh, out here in the wasteland. Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Cap. Those are the fancy ones, huh? Even like a dog, you know. A lot of these people got dogs out here. Why can't I get a dog to just run, run along with me? I need something. Who's shooting? Got him. That wasn't too bad. Pretty easy. Uh, 357 rounds. Nice. Cowboy repeater. That's kind of cool. I think I, I can use those 357s in another weapon, though. Where now? Where are they at now? Oh, I see. Try and vats them. No, I don't have a good chance. Um, we could try it. I don't have a good feeling about it. Yep, I missed all of those shots. I got him, though. I got him anyway. There's one more. Is that them over there? Where's Thomas when you need him? I wish Thomas was here to help me out. Get some 10 mils, some psycho, some purified water. That's them over there. Why am I so uns... Oh, I'm unsteady because I'm injured, right. Okay. I need... What do I need here? Just a little bit of a stimmy pack? I need to get some more stim packs. Honestly. I think it's easier to shoot like this without even zooming in, to be honest. It's kind of weird. Most games, it's the other way. There are more? I'm still getting a caution. So... Makes me think that maybe there's more. Now, where is it wanting me to head to spend, set, uh, spread the word of these atrocities? Like, it's sending me into the middle of nowhere, it looks like. Should I just follow? I should probably stick to the path. 
feel like even though there's bad stuff out on the path, like gang members and whatnot, I feel like it's still better than what the heck's going on there. Still better than, you know, walking off the path. Oh yeah, here we go. Ant it's ants. Ooh, that's a big one. Why are they attacking their own? One hundred percent easier to shoot like this. What up, Wooly Lace? Welcome to the stream, buddy. How you doing today? Watching on the Twitch today, I see. You dropping the uh, the eye? What do you? Uh, I forget what. Why do I forget what that's called? I should know because it's on our money. The pyramid eye. The all-seeing eye. Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Something like that. It's kind of weird if you think about it. Uh, so what I've done today, Willy Lace, or uh, I should say Ross, I sent some ghouls into space. Jake, you are going to die today. Nah, dude. I don't do that. I, uh, I blasted off some spaceships with some ghouls on them, sent them right into space. So that was a pretty good time. Oh, I see. We're going to, like, the NCR base, aren't we? And then we're going to tell them about the, uh, the situation. Are you bad or are you good? I got my... Oh, these guys are good. They're, they're just, uh, caravanners. Traders. So we're good on that. Are you still playing this, Ross, or did you say, didn't you say you beat this already? It's a fun game. I just keep getting all these crashy poos. I got like two level ups real quick. Cheese. Yes, cheese. So did you go back and watch the Stardew? I started over. I thought I had my, my sound situation fixed. But it was still kind of butt up. I don't know what it is. Should have named my character... Uh, What's his name? Shio Must be crazy to Because I like the roads. cheese. Legion attacked Nipton, burned and killed everyone. What? There's no way. We're miles from the Colorado. They they aren't even waiting for the dam to fall. They're, They're already inside the borders. We'll never stop them. Not at this rate. We're we got a cap in the chat. What up, buddy? Thanks for bringing What is work. Jake? Hmm, Even that's a good question. Bad, I'll let the men know. See, I know of, like, a few different Jakes. There's Jake Games, which is me. There's Jake Chernisky. That's another dude. He's out there doing, you know, van conversion stuff and cooking and just, like, whatever random stuff he feels like. And then there's Jake Reacts. That dude, you know, he's he's watching videos and reacting to them. It's pretty cool. Uh, Ross says, I just started playing my one again on Stardew Valley. Nice, very nice. Dude, Stardew's a lot of fun. And uh, I'm liking that I can do those van streams with the Starlink. It's so cool just being out in the van, uh, being able to stream off of satellite the satellite internet. But um, the problem is the sound is messed up, and I don't know how to fix it. It's fine until the Stardew music starts playing. Then it gets weird. Eagle has been rescued from Bison Steve. Talk to him about protecting the town. Oh, we could do that. I don't know why I never did that. That's a pretty simple quest, huh? Over at Prim. How far are you in Stardew? Have you ever beat it, Ross? Because, like, I, I know there is, uh... There is an ending, right? What's up with this guy? Oh, four, to, four of six. Hmm. In the name of games, reacts and Chernisky, Chernisky, amen. I just said my own last name wrong. Amen. Hey there. Uh, I need to talk Hello to you. Hello again, Deputy I don't Beagle. You've it's to help a good name. Find its next sheriff. What are you talking about? You're the sheriff. Oh no, I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called I shot the sheriff. But I didn't shoot the deputy. 
What are the qual qualifications for sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone mm -hmm. who will settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Let's have, um... Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Let's just have Captain sure Arthur be the sheriff. Already. So I think I'm going to do a long day of streaming today, by the way, guys. So I think I'm going to play uh, this for two hours, and I think I'm going to play Starfield for two hours. Because I, I, I didn't have work last night, so I'm not going into this tired, you know. Uh, I do have work tonight, though. That is that is one butts of a thing. Uh, I guess I'll help bring Law and Order back to Prim. That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. I don't get why the deputy wouldn't just step up and be the sheriff. Like, that's kind of dumb, isn't it? So, we have options here. Not long until the new season of Minecraft, Jake. I know, dude. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be so good. So I'm shunned at this place, so I don't think I'm going to go there. I think I'm going to go talk to this guy and see if he wants to help out. So I think what I'm going to do, day one of the server, is I'm going to just spend my whole time getting my, my house set up. Getting my, my initial... Ah, oh, frig, dude. I keep doing that. My initial uh, base set up, you know what I mean? If I do a doctor bag, doesn't that uh, fix up all of my broken body parts? Yeah, I'm going to do that. This guy, right? You've lost? No, I guess not. Maybe it's another person? Jake, we going to worship All Father in season Are we going to uh, worship All Father in season 3 and we will do raid? Do raids in the name of the All Father? That's uh that's definitely a possibility. I could see that. I could definitely see that. We need to find an NCR bro to Hello. who wants to become a sheriff. I believe over here. Perhaps. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do raids. <clears throat> so I say we like find some villages and we go in, we burn them down. I'm Sergeant McGee, and we take all their stuff. Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. You want to talk And we can save just a couple survivors. Days. And we can uh make them be our workers, you know what I mean? Jake, did you see what I said about if we fight in the next season? Yeah, did you see what I said? We already we already fought. You cheated, and I still won. <laughs> and Frey, Thor, uh, Njordi, Freya, and Balder. True, yeah. Maybe maybe you pick your your which one you want. You know, like usually they would focus on one god more than another a lot of times. Maybe you pick one, and that's kind of like your faction. Know what I'm saying? Uh, where is this guy from? I'm from the hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Goodbye. Sir. What Wait. is it? So this guy doesn't want to be uh, the sheriff? I guess maybe I need somebody else to be sheriff. We're going to kidnap Athelstan and are going to raid players too. Uh, I don't know about that because that's kind of like, Hello. I don't know. That's kind of like war. Like you're just going to be starting problems and wars again. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? Um, Prim is in some dire need of some real law. We know Prim is a great strategic point and we aren't blind to the needs of the town, but we're barely holding our own against the powder gangers. We don't have the guns or the personnel needed to carry out our mission, much less take on defending this town as well. Ross picks the god of mischief. Yeah, I, th I think I could see that. 
Uh, what do you need to take over protecting the town? What we need more than anything is bodies. If we had just one more squad, we could easily install a sheriff and still handle our primary objective of protecting the interstate south of here. So how like do we get more CR people here? protection of prim and its duties, then you'll have to get some more troops up here. Knight at Mojave Outpost may be able to help. Okay. Uh, all right, then I guess Sir. I got to go do that. I just got to get more people over here. Uh, Cap says Vikings were doing that. Well, Cap, see, like, we want, hey. like, you're, you're kind of already, like, putting a theme onto the, the server and, like, if you want to do the raiding Viking thing, then that's your thing. Other people don't have to do that. So, like, if you go and start raiding people and just calling yourself a Viking and telling everybody they have to pick a god, you're, you're like, kind of taking the whole point of everybody can do kind of their own thing and what they want, and you're just throwing it out the window. You know what I mean? We're not, like, having... A theme like it's not like the last one like I don't want it to be a role-playing themed thing where you have to do this that and that's kind of where you're going with it again already <laughs> know what I mean I'd definitely pick Thor though by the way just saying I've been here already haven't I yeah okay we can go to the Mojave outpost Uh, we're gonna try and get some people to to go post up over there at Prim. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or uh, what? Just need something for the logbook, keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Although mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checked, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. If we're going to raid, we could raid players as well in PvP zones. Yeah, I mean, maybe it could be like that. Maybe if we have um, set up, like in the PvP zones, if you have set up bases, and like you keep stuff in the base in the PvP zone... And then when you go raid, you go raid somebody's base there in the PvP zone. Something like that could be good. But at the same time, we don't know if we're even going to be able to get that PvP zone kind of thing set up, do we? Ross says we need to get 50 people in the server. That would be nice. 50 people on the server would be awesome. I don't want theme server. I just want to raid. I got you. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about Prim. Prim? A's units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. I'm going to have to take out the powder gangers, aren't I? Um, Hayes is undermanned and is requesting some additional support. I'd like to help, but we can't spare any more units. We have to maintain a minimum headcount at the outpost. Orders from the west. Yeah, see, Cap, when you're talking about raids, I thought you were talking about just going to people's bases... And taking their stuff, like, you know, killing them and taking their stuff. Like, that's not, that's not what we want to do. If you're talking, like, in the PvP zone, sure, you can, like, maybe you build a spot in the PvP zone and you try and keep some stuff there and people can come in and try and raid it. Like, that works. Oh, I can do barter. Having Prim and the trade route under NCR control would help the West. I see the wisdom in that. I'll radio for a unit to head up to Prim and offer some... Nice, okay, so we've done it. Ross says, I hope the spawn is better. Right. I liked the spawn last time. Uh, anything I can do to help around here? We can help. pick up a quest from oh, this guy. Well, you could speak to Ranger Jackson. He might have something for you. He sort of runs things around here. Mostly ends up sending reports back west that aren't filled with the best news. By the way, if you're interested in checking out what we're talking about, we're talking about a Minecraft uh, server that if you buy a membership for only 99 cents, you can get access to the Minecraft server. And uh, you, it's cross-platform, so whether you're on Bedrock or Java, you can join, and it's 24-7. Uh, you can join when you want or with me when I stream it. I'm probably going to be streaming that on Fridays. Honestly, I might do Tuesdays and Fridays. We'll see. Um, but, yeah, definitely check that out if it's something you're interested in. You can go back watch the, the last season or, like, you know, stuff like that. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. 
All right, so sure. I think we got what we needed for Prim. We got some people coming in to help help out. Yeah, I liked uh, Castle Way could do that as well. What was wrong with spawn lands and port spawn? Hello. What do you mean we could do what as well? Like raid people's houses? I don't really want that. Like, that was the, a lot of the reason why people left last time is because they're like, I built up all this stuff and then I lost it. And that really sucks. And like, nobody wants that. But yeah, I liked uh, spawn lands and port spawn. That was that was cool. Nice to have a village at spawn. Well, we had a village right on that same island. Like, it wasn't that far away. I set up villager trading, like, within the same island as uh, spawn. All it was was a quick river trip over there. Or you could fly over there. Uh, I probably could have just fast traveled, couldn't I? Back to Prim and let him know that we're good, right? I'm just hoping we don't get no crashes. No crash of poos. This is always confusing, like how we're supposed to go about getting in here. With this wall up. I always fudge up with the wall. Uh, yo, where's Beagle? Mr. Beagle. Oh, he wants me to go outside. Okay, I need to go. Maybe I need to go across the road here and talk to the NCR dude, and then he'll send somebody over to be vil uh, be Sheriff. When I get on, I'm going to try to beat the dragon and get wings to fly around with. Yeah, cool. That'd be cool. I mean, mostly things were destroyed by the hackers, not the war. Yeah. True. But the way you're talking about raiding, when you say raiding, like you that makes me think you're going to go into people's places, kill them and take their stuff, which that's like going to be bad. Nobody's going to really want that. You know what I mean? Yeah, but if you do war, people are going to try and destroy buildings. It, it, like if you're talking about raiding, you're talking about like going in, destroying people's stuff, taking their stuff. That's what I think of when I think of raiding. And, like, we don't want you to just be doing that to random, like, to people's stuff. Like, people are trying to get on here and build and have a good time without having you come in, destroy their stuff, and take their stuff. Yo, what up, Slothman? I come into Jake saying when you were talking about raiding. Oh, yeah. yeah. Slothman comes in right at the point when we have talking about somebody hacking the server. <laughs> like, Sloth, like... You think he had a, a part in that? Uh, I got extra support troops yeah, for Prim. Yeah, I just Prim. got word of that. There's a squad of rangers standing by. Sergeant McGee will take over as sheriff, and the rangers will be his deputies. Nice. This town will be in NCR territory. This means that aside from protection, the citizens will also need to become registered NCR citizens and pay any appropriate and associated taxes. Uh, yes, tell the troops to come protect Prim. Roger. I'll radio them over now. All right, so we've kind of turned Prim into an NCR outpost. I don't know if that's... Is that really a good thing? I don't know. I think so. I mean, the NCR seem to be the pretty good guys out here. Like, it seems like we don't want the Legion to be involved in stuff because the Legion's the buttheads who are uh, kind of fudging everything up for everybody. Let's do... I didn't do this one yet. Let's do this one. Uh, Sloth says, uh-oh, I, I actually didn't promise. Uh, we could do in PvP, uh, in PvP, which side should I pick? Don't talk nonsense, Sloth. I don't know. We're, we're thinking... You're thinking too far ahead there, Capio, I think. making We're making stuff that, you know, we're not even there yet. Trolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear war. Like I said before, you know, we we might have, like, two people on the server cap. We don't even know. You're talking all this big stuff about, like, you know, PvP and all this and that. And, you know, it may be like last time where we don't really have many people on even. It's, uh, we just gotta, we gotta wait and see how the server works out. 
if any of this stuff even works, you know, because like you've never done the we've never done the PVP zones and the claim. Like we don't know how all this stuff is actually going to pan out. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Uh, I need to get going. Bye. I don't need to talk to Ruby Nash. I just want to see what they thought about being NCR now. Did everybody just leave from here? Can I talk to the sheriff? Where did the sheriff go? Or the deputy? Why would the deputy... He's such a dingus. Why would the deputy not just... Uh, step up? Cap says we should already plan season four. Yeah. I'm planning season 16. I'm so far ahead, dude. I'm already on to season 16. All right, so I guess that's that done. Track down the source of the Sierra Madre invitation. Find the Happy Trails Caravan Master. Travel to the canyon wreckage near Prim and enter the divide. Should I do that? That sounds a little sketchy, but I guess we're going to we, we could try it. Let's get a quick save. Is this the divide that I need to enter? I'm I've already been down there, haven't I? Come in and uh, hear about raiding, then get accused. No, we were talking about the destruction on the server, which was 100% your your fault back in the day, but that's uh beside the point. Caps talking about something different. It wasn't even hacking, really. It was just uh, giving away IP, which was against the rules. Yeah, that's that's what we were talking about. Read what you said and what I said, and it will start to make sense. Yeah, I know, but that's what we were talking about. Cap was talking about raiding, and uh, we were talking about how the server got destroyed from the people who got on and that's right when you showed up I don't know what this wants me to like it's kind of got me going all wonky here canyon wreckage I gotta get into a canyon somehow Oh, I think I might have found a way. So you're talking about an event from a year ago? Yeah, because we're talking about the new season of the server. Cap is talking about raiding, and I was like, I don't want really you to be going into people's places, destroying and taking their stuff, you know, random. This thing's not friendly, is it? They're not friendly. God dang it. I didn't want this. I did not want this. Oh, it's coyotes. I didn't want coyotes to attack me. This is horrible. I can't believe this has happened. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Yeah, we were talking about raiding Cap. I had told Cap I don't want him going into people's places, destroying their stuff, taking their stuff. Uh, which is what I think of raiding when he says that. And then he said, no, this destruction was from the uh, the hack, the people who got on randomly. And that's what we were talking about. You've discovered Canyon Wreckage. Courier 6. He's talking about what Slob Man is denied of destruction. He started spamming. Then I started with him over the war. Oh, good God. Every time... Cap and Sloth Man are in the chat. There's some kind of issues. Travel to the Divide. Do I go into the Divide? I guess I'm going to go into the Divide. Uh, the coordinates you received lead you to this canyon filled with storm-tossed wreckage. Beyond lies the Divide. Lonesome Road is intended for experienced couriers level 25 and higher. You cannot take companions with you on the road ahead, nor bring any you find out with you. 
Uh, you can carry whatever equipment and gear you have with you without restriction. However, if the journey provides too difficult or you need resupply, you can retrace your steps and return to the Mojave at any time. If you're prepared, then continue on into the storms of the divide. History awaits. I'm going to walk away. I'm not ready for that. Level 25? Okay, so that's like some DLC stuff, I guess. We could do this showing at the the midnight showing at the Mojave Drive-In. So I think I've already been there. Uh, we'll go to Nipton. I'm just trying to do a little bit of side quest. What up, barcode in the chat? How's it going, buddy? Welcome, welcome. We are back at it with some Fallout New Vegas. I'm just trying to do a little bit of side questing, if you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying. And I'm getting attacked. Of course. I hate scorpions, man. It's so, so sketchy. Did I test this out already? I, I kind of am going to feel bad about it if it works, but... Yep, it works. I don't remember if I tested that, but... It does work. <laughs> I feel like a monster. Ooh, I didn't check this toolbox. Scrap electronics, that might be good for something, right? I didn't look in here, did I? I might have, actually. Correct. Don't spam. I don't know why you're being a dingus right now. Holy crap, that is a lot of spam. Why is this happening? Ooh, was I actually, am I actually at, on time? Is it midnight? Uh, yeah, dude, I actually showed up right at freaking midnight. That's kind of crazy. How did I manage that? All right, so do we just watch the screen? Are we just here to watch the, the program? Uh, the crash satellite seems to be the source of a strange transmission you receive. Old World Blues is recommended for experienced couriers level 15. You have premonition that while you're unable to return to the Mojave until you solve the mystery of the Big Empty, you will be able to take anything you carry with you, and you'll be able to return to the Big Empty anytime, completing Old World Blues. If you are up to the challenge and you have... All you want to carry with you. Examine the satellite a little closer. The atomic wonders of science await. I'll leave it alone for now because I don't know what level am, even am I. Uh, stats. I am Jebzo level six. Yeah, dude, I'm not ready for this. Uh, don't need an example for spamming when you were spamming before that. I'm starting war and constantly saying cap and uh, yeah, he's being a dingus. Barcode says, did you start this game or did you play it earlier? Uh, I, I've played it. This is like the third episode, I think. I've played a couple uh, hour-long sessions. I've been playing it a little bit. Like streaming it. You know, everything I've done is streamed and put up as videos. So you can always go back and check stuff out. Yeah, so this, this, and this. I think this might be... Uh, is that DLC also? Anybody know? I can do Sierra Madre Grand Opening. We could try that out, maybe. That's kind of far away. Oh, Brotherhood of Steel Bunker. Okay. You know what? Let's let's kind of go back to the main stuff. Let's let's kind of continue on cuz we're getting we're getting like f more areas that we can travel to as we keep going down the main quest. So uh, let's keep on going down the main quest and keep unlocking areas because the more areas we go to and unlock, the more side questage we'll have, and um, that'll be good. I was told to do a lot of side questing since the main story is kind of short, and I got all that DLC stuff I can do too, but it's kind of like higher level stuff. I should be like level 25 for the divide and freaking um, level 15 for that drive-in one. Do you know that the Pip-Boy has 64 
KB of Ram. Go get some T60. Yeah, I could get power armor, I suppose, if I go maybe to the Brotherhood of Steel stuff. There was like a Brotherhood of Steel uh, quest, I believe. We got something going on over here, though. Raiders? Probably not raiders, but like gang members. Like Viper? <sighs> you have, uh, I'm crippled. I'm, I lost a leg. That's what I thought. You better run away, Dingleberry. Nope. Oop, I'm out of ammo. Maybe I have had enough. I need, I need help. Let's eat a potato and some gecko meat. Let's swap out weapons. We can go 9 mil for now. I got a few rounds on that. Let's vats him. Ooh. Come on. I almost got him. I ate oh, potatoes worn off. Oh, fudge, dude. Uh, let me see here. Fudged up my... Uh, my stuff here let's see old Bethesda is a lot better now it has become very uh, trashy mostly I don't know like this this feels kind of the same as like any of the other stuff I honestly don't feel any difference when I play this versus when I play the new stuff I think so many people have that like um, nostalgia thing like where they think back to the old times the old times were better than the new times but like i don't think it's really that much different know what i mean new vegas you're hunting the guy that shot you bethesda was all the same but back then it was easier to make notable games i'm gonna drink a freaking nuka cola i'm in dude this viper leader is kind of frigging me up a little bit i need to take a stim pack like that? I didn't want to, but you you forced my hand. Finally. God dang. Yeah, like Cap said, uh, it's 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 all the same, I, I feel like. It's just um, a lot of people have like the real uh, nostalgia for the old stuff. Because it reminds you of uh, different times or, or something like that. You know what I mean? Like in the moment when you were playing it back then, it was all cool and new. And like then they come up with new stuff and it's a little different. But, you know, still the same basic idea. And uh, people are like, no, it's bad. My, uh, even in 2006, they started microtransactions. Their first horse armor for two bucks. Said Starfield has physics like RDR2. Um, that's only example of downfall. Bethesda, for me, isn't like earlier. I'm about to play Starfield after this. I'm going to play this for like another 40 minutes or so. And then I'm going to hop into Starfield. But I like Starfield too. Like honestly, it's, it's a good game. I think the best thing you can do is not read into everything too much. Like, everybody, all these games and, like, new shows and stuff, like, they do these trailers and they do this and that. And people, like, build up these theories and, like, think too much about it instead of just going in without looking at all that stuff and just enjoying it for what it is. Like, that's what I do. I try not to, like, watch anything, any trailers for the most part anymore. I don't, like... Because, you know, you see the trailer and they show you, like, the best parts like this. Oh, this cool thing, this cool thing. The whole show is not going to just be all that, all the good, cool things. But you see all, you know, these small bits and parts and you build up this idea of what it's supposed to be or what you think it's going to be like. And then, um, and then, uh, then you get into it and you end up disappointed because it's not exactly how you imagined. Oh, you're getting vatsed. Why are you so tough, dude? Why are you so freaking tough? God dang. 
Holy frig. Holy frig. How many times can I shoot this god dang thing? Starfield was the same buggy as any other Bethesda game. Honestly, Starfield was the best... Um, or not best, but like the least buggy of the releases right off the bat. Like on initial launch, out of every uh, Bethesda game, I think, Starfield was like the, the smoothest initial launch. I mean, obviously it had its problems, but so does everything. Skyrim's old, but uh, still my favorite. Yeah, dude, Skyrim's a, a great one. But, you know, there's people who have their problems with Skyrim, too. Everybody's got their, uh, their different things, you know. Waiting for Elder Scrolls 6. Yeah, dude, Elder Scrolls 6 is going to be dope. My weapon broke? Oh, God. This is, <laughs> this is horrible. Oh, fudge. One scorpion is going to be the death of me. He broke my leg. I'm going to run out of ammo and weapons here. I say we kill it with fire. There we go. Kill it with fire. I need a doctor bag or something. I'm in a dire situation. Barcode's ready for Elder Scrolls 6. Calf's ready for Elder Scrolls. Oh, me too. Gonna be so good. Alright, so I need to remember... What, what just happened? <laughs> what just happened? What is what is still happening? Okay, I need to remember to just not do that. What that was, we're just not going to do that. One, one scorpion. Who would win? Jake Games or one scorpion? I think we know the answer now. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, see, like, everybody says, oh, this game, New Vegas, the best uh, the best Bethesda game, like, because it wasn't, you know, it was Obsidian and not Bethesda strictly and blah, blah, blah. This reminds me of Oblivion. It feels just as broken as Oblivion. Like, I don't, I don't feel any different. Logic, says Barcode. And this game, honestly, may be even more broken. It crashes all the time. I've had more crashes on this than I have on uh, Oblivion. All right, maybe if we like, okay, there's a sign to Boulder City. I think I just need to, I need to remember to stay on the road more and stop like wandering off. I keep wandering off the road and that's what's butting me up here. All right, so should I... I need to get my health up. I think I have rads, though. Can I take a rad away? Rad X. Do I have a rad away? I guess I don't have a rad away. Um, plus one for four seconds. Squirrel stew. Let's eat that. I don't like how these things give you health for so many seconds. It's like... Is that... All rads. It, my, my health doesn't seem like it's going up. Is that because it's all like rads? Drink some dirty water. Okay, no, it's going up a little bit. <clears throat> vodka. Does vodka help? Should I just straight up drink some vodka? That's going to not give me health. It'll give me charisma, less intelligence, and one strength. Okay. We could do that when we need to get into some charismas type stuff. We've discovered a new town. Oh, it's a bird. I was like, what the heck is that? Private Kowalski. You pay your respects to? Uh, what is this memorial? It commemorates the Battle of Hoover Dam. 
The Rangers lured the best of Caesar's legion into Boulder City, then blew the whole town up. Hmm. The NCR still lost a bunch of troops in the fighting, though. My older brother sacrificed himself so they could evacuate some of the wounded. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry about it. Uh, where are you normally stationed? Camp McCarran, but I'm on leave at the moment, heading back to California to see my folks. I'm supposed to join up with a caravan that's heading that way up at the 188, but they're not due to arrive for a while yet. Uh, all right then. Goodbye. Bye. Why do I not get any options ever for like companions? I just want I just want to have companions, but nobody ever like gives me the option of, hey, how about I come with you? <clears throat> Nobody ever wants to do that. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The brass at McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. All right, so what do I do? What's going on with the great cons? One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the great cons. <clears throat> they radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the cons into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. So you're going to no want deaths. me to take out the Not great cons, the aren't you? Out. The cons have private Ackerman and private Gilbert as hostages. Uh, these great cons might have something of mine, a platinum chip. Once the great cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. Um, maybe I'll negotiate a deal with the great cons? Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. But considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack... Alright, I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the great cons. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in. But it'll probably be too late for you. Oh, no. Understood. <laughs> Good luck. This is going to be sketchy, isn't it? What's my best weapon against these guys? Maybe shotgun? So how do I get in here? Do you have, like, an entrance in here or something? What do I... What do... What do? Or do I go this way? I'm, I'm confused. Hoover Dam's this way. There must be a way in, right? What the butts? Why would that guy be guarding if that wasn't the entrance? He doesn't want anybody getting in, so he's guarding there, but that's not even the entrance? Oh, it is. Oh. God damn. The doors just blend in. Like, that didn't even look like a door. Or at least we got to save, so if things go poorly, if it crashes or whatever... Where do we find the feathers? Oh, here we go. We got a great con. The NCR sure did a number on this place. They're not attacking, but... Man, I'm sick of this place. Can't wait Fuck to get back money. to Red Rock. We'll make him pay for stabbing us in the back. How do I negotiate? Who do I talk to here? They're not attacking me, but I don't see who, like, the leader is that I talk to. You? The NCR sure did a number on this place. Oh, maybe here. Man, I'm sick of this place. Can't wait to get back to Red Rock. Uh, leave him tied up for now. Leave her tied up for now. How do I? Man, I'm sick of this place. Can't wait to get back to Red Rock. It said I could negotiate, but like I don't. Nobody's really chatting with me. How do I negotiate when there's no chat to be have? Hope the NCR doesn't send reinforcements from the dam. We'll make a pay for stabbing us in the back. Hope the NCR doesn't send reinforcements. Oop, maybe I don't want to do that. I'm just, I'm trying to talk to somebody who can negotiate here. The NCR sure did a number. Same dialogues, right? Yeah, they just they're going over the same things. They're not even like giving me no options. Find Jessup. Oh, you're right, right. They did say the leader was Jessup. Where the heck, why would he not be in that 
Same area. Maybe he's up here somewhere. Yeah, it's like he's missing or something. It's directing me right to here. But yet, he's not there. Their leader. Yeah, thank you, Barcode. That that does help. I should, I should pay more attention to stuff. Oh, maybe he's on this side of the building? Maybe. Let's see if there's a way over there. Over here, maybe? We got to do a little bit of hardcore parkour. God dang. I mean, he's, he's in this area. It's, it's giving me a quest marker to here. Oh. Pfft. Another door. You know that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. You're supposed to be dead. But I'm still alive. Well, I'm not. And I believe you have something of mine. I got better. <laughs> and here I thought us great cons were tough to kill. So, what happens now? Uh, where's the platinum chip? I don't have it. Then he stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably Ooh, that's a lot of XP right there. Now, laughing at me. Dude, I'm like leveling up every quest. Like, I go talk to somebody and get my XP from the quest, and it's like, bam, le level up. Uh, let's talk about settling things between you What's and the, the NCR. Negotiate? The NCR backs off. We walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. Ooh, I'm, I'm a little short on speech here. Should I... Does it does it matter if I try it? Like, it's 34 out of 45. I don't know if trying it even does anything because I think I'm just automatically gonna fail. Right. Yeah, right. And they probably give us all medals too. Maybe I should kill a hostage because you wasted my time with this shit. Don't do that. I'm willing to hear other suggestions. We try to bribe our way out, but seeing as how Benny didn't pay us yet, that won't happen. Any way you're willing to surrender? And face NCR justice. No thanks. I'd rather not spend the next ten years doing hard labor. Mm. Okay. Fine. Uh. Okay. Yeah, goodbye. Go on. What if I level up my speech like crazy? What if I put everything into speech right now? Will that get me to forty-five? I think I can do it. Let's just put everything into speech and let's try this again. Hey. Hey. I'm getting real tired of talking. Oh, I know. Let's uh, let's talk about settling things. About this, huh? I'm pretty sure I already said we want the NCR to back off and let us out. Uh, free the hostages now, and I'll have the NCR escort you out of your territory. I can't believe. Yeah. I'm doing this. <laughs> it's all right, the hostages. Just need a quick level up there. The NCR better keep their end of the deal, though. Yeah. Quick level up in speech, and we're good to go. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. Oh, I'll do that. All right, goodbye. Yeah, go on. So we did successfully peaceful way. Speech, man. That's where it's at. I mean, my, my speech is getting so high up there, I'm like... I can probably just talk my way out of just about anything. The barcode says, oh, well. That works, right? Just level up your speech real quick and then try the same option again. And you're good to go. Now where's it directing me? How'd you how would you go about this barcode? Would you go in shooting? Um What is my quest now? Confront Benny at the Tops Casino. Oh, okay, so that's is that like the final Is this like the final uh quest do hicker here? Oh, I need to do this. I need to let uh, Lieutenant know. I'm glad you're able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the Great Cons, hostages or not. Uh, Barco says yes. You'd go in shooting. Oh well, now he's telling me we're supposed to just take them out anyway. The Great Cons uh, let the hostages go in exchange for their own freedom. My hands are tied. I can't go against orders. Can well, I? you can. You absolutely can. If you have any integrity, then you'll honor the deal. You're right. 
Great cons are free to go. You uh, folks have come to accept you for your helpful nature. Nice. I gained fame in the NCR and fame with the great cons. I've gained karma. That's good. I needed karma after last time when I was stealing stuff. I think it was at Prim. I was stealing some stuff and definitely lowered the karma a decent bit. So now we're at the point where it's like go to Topps Casino and confront Benny. So uh, I'm not sure. What do I do now? Because this is DLC that I'm too low of level for. This is DLC I'm too low, low level for. Uh, is this DLC also the Happy Trails Expedition? Could do Sierra Madre Grand Opening. That's uh, Brotherhood of Steel stuff, I think. Isn't it? Abandoned Brotherhood of Steel uh, bunker. We could try it. Let's head that way. We got about uh, 25 minutes to go. Let's try it. Joja Siwa Karma is a beach. What is even that? To be honest with you, Chief, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Am I too old to understand what such a thing is? There's some weird noisage going on right here. I can head my way to Hoover Dam. You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for you. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come run it. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Cool, dude. I got the NCR Stay safe on my and side. Hunting. They gave me a radio. I can call them in when I need them. Oh, it's a song. What kind of song? I probably wouldn't. Yeah, I probably don't know it. To be honest with you. Walker of the Mojave. I've discovered Ranger Station Delta. Hello. The NCR is kind of out here killing it, you know? They're my buddies. They're my pals. Yeah, it does. Uh, it feels like I'm leveling up pretty quick. Wait, what is this? I just got like a... A thing over here. I kind of want to see what this is. What did that just say? I missed it. Fudge. Oh, uh, unstable on Twitch? Are we unstable on YouTube as well? It seems like the stream's running pretty smooth, right? Why does it keep telling me it's unstable? You guys aren't seeing any problems, are you? I'm not seeing any issues on my phone here where I got the uh, the stream open. NCR, Nigeria Central Radio. Is that what it is? Is that what that stands for? Makes sense. Everything just turned a very odd color all of a sudden. I feel like I'm walking into some bad stuff here. Can I be friends with the Brotherhood of Steel and the NCR, or is that not an option? Maybe he says barcode. It's either that or New California Republic, one of the two. You know, you never know. I think I'm getting close to this bunker. They really put it out here in the middle of nowhere, didn't they? Can I just wander off down that canyon there? Oh, is it uppies? I think it's uppies. Oh, I see. Is that it? 
It's the only like structure I see out here. That must be it, right? That's isn't that New California? That's not Brotherhood. Oh, is it? Where the fudge is it? I got a high vantage point here. I'm not seeing nothing. You can be your own prince in an empty desert. Yeah. I claim this desert for my own. I'm I'm the leader here. I can do what I want. Yeah, this is NCR stuff. So where the frig? I was like right on top of it. Where the frig is Brotherhood stuff? It's got to be straight from where I'm at here. Carefully how to navigate my way down. I'm king of the castle here in the desert. Nobody can tell me otherwise. I skipped prince and went straight to king. Oh, sneaky little entrance here. <clears throat> You've discovered abandoned Brotherhood of Steel bunker. There's dead folks in here. Jar of Cloud Residue, what is that? What is even that? Sierra Madre. I'm a little nervous here. Get Desert Iguana Farm. Can you do that? Oh, Dead Money. This is another DLC. Dead Money takes you to an extremely dangerous area of the Mojave Wasteland. One-way journey until your business in the Sierra Madre is finished. In normal mode, you'll encounter new traps, enemies, companions whose lives are tied to yours. In hardcore mode, you'll be fighting the environment as well as toxic city that erodes health over time. Companions are more vulnerable. Um, Dead Money is recommended for experienced couriers level 20 and up. If you're up to the challenge, continue on. The Sierra Madre grand opening awaits. It's been for 200 years. I'll stay in the Mojave. Oh, yeah, dude, I'm not ready for that yet. I'm only... Level 7. Uh, I'm kind of damaged. My head is damaged. Should I do a doctor's bag? Get everything all fixed up? It's probably a good idea, right? Well, I should have known. We're running into nothing but DLC stuff. So we're at the point of... These are all DLC. This is main story. Maybe let's go back to Good Springs and see if there's anything left to do there. Because I haven't. Don't think I've done everything in Good Springs. And I'm liked in Good Springs, so maybe I can go do some quests for them. Maybe that'll be good. Breed? No, but it would be cool if iguanas adapt for harsh conditions and have edible meat and are easy to breed. That would be cool. That's not like a real thing you can do though, right? Is getting an iguana farm. Let's see. Hi there. Sticking sure Sunny Smiles has some ideas for me. A little short on caps. Don't suppose there's any work not available. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Okay. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it. I need up my lock picking a lot, I think. Magazine on locksmith? The lock's too much for you to handle. Reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. Hmm, okay. All right, I'll go take a look at the safe Always when I get the chance. Always to help someone down on their luck. Cool. Until next so there's, time. there's a little bit of a quest. Does she give me any quests, hey. I wonder? Feeling thirsty? Um, anything interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Hmm. Who is that man you were arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Oh, we already took Cobb. care of that. Uh, Alright. Be careful out there. We got, we got a little bit of a quest to do. We can go check out the schoolyard, so that's good. Uh, 
I don't think it actually gave me a quest, but <coughs> we'll just go investigate. We'll go look around for it. No quest marker, that is. Is that, that looks like a schoolyard, right? I went to the schoolyard once to pick up something. I don't remember what I got, like some kind of herb or something like that. I wonder, does it grow back? Can I grab more of it? Doesn't look like it grows back. That's kind of butts. Let's go on in. I'm gonna, I think, use um, my varmint rifle. I feel like there's gonna be varmints in here. There's the safe. There is varmints. There's varmints afoot. Get varminted. Ooh, one shot. That's kind of crazy. Whoa, 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 hey. Chill. I don't like bugs, man. I don't like big bugs jumping at me. You can kind of, like, frig off a little bit. Why is there big bugs? I don't like this. I think I hurt that one. Now we've really hurt it. Oh. This is not something you see in any of the other games, is it? I don't recall ever seeing a giant mantis. Got it. Was there one more alive? Do you guys drop anything? I don't think they actually drop anything. That's weird. Oh, it's easy. I can actually get into easy uh, locks now. Nice. That was actually really easy. Stealth Boy and Super Stim Pack. I don't think I've used the Super Stim Pack, have I? What's the difference? Metal box, a cup. We don't want a cup. A tin can. Uh, maybe that's worth something, right? She gave me a magazine also. Let's see here. Where is it? I might as well use it, right? Um, I get a sword. Would it be in miscellaneous or would it be... Where the heck would it be? She said she gave me uh, like a lockpicking magazine. Uh, barcode says see you for five minutes. Alrighty. You mean you're leaving for five minutes or you're gonna... Or you gotta leave in five minutes? Either way, we will, uh, we'll see you around. You varmint. Get out of here, varmints. Giant mantises, man. That's such a weird freak. Mantises are mean. Like they're they're pretty freaking brutal. Like they'll they'll kill anything they can. Like from freaking birds to lizards to they just freaking grab a hold of something and start eating it. It's really crazy. And um, so like I can't imagine a giant mantis. Say you had a giant mantis that got got a hold of you and just started eating you. Starts eating your leg while you're still alive. That sounds freaking horrible. That's terrifying. It's a terrifying thought. Alright, so we've uh, investigated the schoolyard. That was cool. I got a little bit of money out of that. I don't know that there's much else to do here in Good Springs. Unless anybody else has a quest for me. Maybe we can go back and talk to Sunny and see what she says about what we've done. Maybe the doctor also? Let's go talk to the... No, that's not where the doctor lives, is it? This is the doctor's house, I think. Talk to the doctor and see what he has to say about any of the stuff going on. Doctor, where are you at? How are you holding up? Decent. Oh, can I... He can heal my radiation. Sure, I can help you out. That's pretty good. Okay. 100 caps and we get our radiation cured. Nice. That's pretty sick. 
That was easy enough. Now we just gotta do one last thing before we move on. Where is it at? Here we go. Tasty toilet water. Well, I took a. Did I fill up my canteen in the toilet? So I took a sip out of my canteen and I sipped out of the toilet. So I might have done both. This kind of. That really is like fast. A fast game. Like we're at the point where we can go confront Benny already. We're only like level seven, and we've you know we've done what like three or four episodes hour-long episodes and we're already at that point it's kind of bonkers I don't think there's any way into this place is there no it's all boarded a lot of these places are boarded up let's go back to the bar can I go in the back door Evening. howdy Where'd you come from? Oh, Thanks does Ringo have anything for, for me? Uh, you tell me anything about car, uh, uh, I've never good stopped springs? here until recently. You're better off asking one of the locals. I can play caravan with him, but I have no idea how yeah. it works, so I'm gonna avoid that. Feeling thirsty? I know about that robot that rescued me. I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. What does he actually do Other around than here? rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Huh, that is weird. You don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. It is a little weird, man. A robot rolling around acting like a friendly cowboy. How long has it been in Good Springs? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Talk about something else. We know all we know about Fine the robot now, I think. Good Spring have any visitors? Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. All right, we can uh, actually we should hit Be up the general store, buy some ammo and some stim packs, maybe. I don't know how much money I have. Hi there, sticking around Good Springs for a while longer. Um, yeah, nothing Until else to do time. with her. See, Sunny Smiles would have been a great companion. I don't know why they don't make her a companion that you can take along with you. That would have been a friggin' fantastic thing. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. Ooh, you think that could happen, actually? Uh, what do you got for Andy. sale? We can do some bartering if I don't have enough money. Like, I can give up some NCR money. Um, so what am I mainly using? I could use some Magnums, 357 Magnums. Uh, am I using the 20 gauge? I don't actually know. 9mm I have, so I can buy some 9mm. Okay, that's 36 caps. Oh, those are 9 mil plus P. Ooh. That's good stuff right there. A little bit of... Do you have any stim packs? Doesn't look like he's got any stim packs, does it? Maybe? Or we're getting to the... Oh, we're in the area. Okay, we got stim packs. Buy some of those. What are we at? Oh, I'm at way too much money. I'll give some of these back, I guess. Let's do half of that. And I still have way too much money. I'm not using any 308, am I? Let's sell them that. Am I using 22? I'm using 357. Uh, I can get 40 bucks for this NCR money. That should be good, right? There we go. Now we're trading 110 caps. We're getting all that good stuff. Let's let's do that. That's good enough. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah. Tell me about weapon mod and special weapon ammo. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. Mm. There's also hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. Okay, that makes sense. 
You know anything about the people who attacked the me? The leader was a new Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Alrighty. Well, goodbye. Take it easy now. That was pretty good. Uh, do you have, like, a workbench in here where I can actually modify my stuff, or is that not... Is that not a thing you do? Where would I where would I manage to find something like that? There's that workbench at the uh, abandoned place where they shot off the rockets, but all I could do was ammo stuff. All right, well, I guess we will go ahead and call it a day for today. Next time we can go pick up back on the main quest, I think. And uh, get back on the track of finding Benny. We're actually like not too far off from that. I think we're we're tracking him down in this area, right? Let me see here. Let's check the quest real quick. Ring a ding, a ding. Confront Benny at Tops Casino. Okay, yeah, we're like we're like there. We're almost there. But we could also stop off at some of the other towns, do some more side questing. I don't know. It's kind of hard to uh, to decide. I, I, I have a hard time, like, staying on track and just deciding on stuff. And my game crashes. Where are we going to be at? Oh, please tell me we're in a good spot. We're probably right before I... Or no, right after... What just happened there? That guy just fell. Uh, right after we did this. Okay. Uh, so anyways, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Fallout New Vegas. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. Helps me out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications so that way you're not going to miss out on any future streams or videos. Join Discord. You can come by and chat. And if you want to help support the channel, only 99 cents on YouTube. That gets you a bunch of cool perks. You're going to get access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server that you can join when you want or with me on Fridays. I might stream that Tuesdays and Fridays. We'll see. But Season 3 is going to be starting as soon as Minecraft 1.21 comes out. So definitely check that stuff out if you're interested in that. Also, merch, another good way to support. Just watching, liking the videos, stuff like that. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Peace.